It's food for thought. Mmm, fresh fruit salad and yogurt. What a great idea. With foods and nutrition teacher, Sandy Stratton. It is estimated that over 20 million students in Canada get their lunches in the school cafeteria or outside fast food sources versus bringing a healthy lunch from home. And that can be a problem. It's been found that students who make choices to eat in the school cafeteria or outside fast food restaurants are at a higher risk for being at an unhealthy weight. Why is this? Students tend to make food choices based on what they like rather than what is good for them. As we give students the power and financial resources to feed themselves, they can often make poor choices. While new standards are in place at schools to provide healthy food, schools have had a difficult time getting students to make wise choices when they are in a cafeteria lineup. School cafeterias are one of the biggest areas of opportunity that exist in the battle against childhood obesity. But schools cannot force students to eat certain foods. They can only provide options that include both healthy and some treat foods. Another problem that does arise at junior high and high school levels is that boxed lunches from home are not cool. The idea of carrying a lunchbox becomes childish to many students who are trying to impress peers and fit in. So it is not unusual for a student to leave the lunchbox at home and sacrifice a healthy lunch for a certain look. People often say that healthier school lunches are more expensive and that such costs strongly limit better diet habits. Researchers found that healthier lunches, for example, diets rich in fruits, vegetables, and fish and nuts, do not cost significantly more than unhealthy diets. On average, a day's worth of healthy lunches costs only about $1.50 more per day than unhealthy ones consisting of mostly processed food items. The question then becomes, what is more important, spending a little more for the health of our children or spending less and risking unhealthy eating patterns for life? One of the most important places to start when making healthy school lunches is actually picking good containers. Time is important and many busy parents say they do not have a lot of time to put together healthy lunches every night. Remember, however, that eating healthy is a lifestyle choice and time should be set aside to not only eat healthier but include activity in our day. Time can be cut by using containers that are convenient and easy to use. I find that lunch containers that are multifunctional make it easy to organize food in one lunchbox. Another way to keep down costs and time is to prepare foods in bulk. Take time on Sunday to work with your child in making bulk food items for the week. Whether it be making assorted salads, raw veggies and dips, pastas and noodles, fruit pieces, meats, healthy pizzas, rices and soups. And always remember to buy whole food options as often as possible rather than processed foods made at the factory. Instead of a packaged applesauce, send apple slices. Instead of a fruit roll-up, send a container of fresh cut berries. Instead of sending cookies and cream, send home baked items. And instead of sending a fruit drink box, send real 100% juice. School lunches can be healthy, affordable, and efficient. And it may be time that we place more importance on a meal that fits in a school lunchbox. When the moon hits
catch your eye like a figure beats a pie that's amore.